Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to become a delegate on the Moonbeam Delegation Dashboard. Delegates are highly involved members of the Moonbeam community that have stepped up to take on a leadership role in the governance of the network. In short, delegates vote on behalf of users who have delegated some or all of their voting power to them. By voting on behalf of users who may not have the time or the expertise to vote on every proposal, Delegates ensure robust and active participation in Moonbeam governance. This video is focused on how you can become a delegate and vote on behalf of others. If instead you're looking for how to delegate your tokens to a community delegate, we have a separate video tutorial for that, and we'll leave a link to that in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get set up as a delegate. To get started, head to delegate.moonbeam.network and go ahead and click on delegate signup slash login. Press connect wallet and go ahead and connect your preferred EVM wallet. You'll need to sign a message to log in, then press Edit Profile. And the first thing you'll see here is a delegate statement. And you'll be asked to provide a statement here as to why you'll make a good delegate. Pay particular attention to the first sentence here as this is the snippet that users browsing the homepage will see. Your entire statement is important, of course, but you may want to think carefully about how you'll capture the community's attention with the opening of it. If you're looking for an example of what a community statement looks like, you can check out the existing ones on the homepage. You'll also need to review and accept the Delegate Code of Conduct. And you can check out the entire Code of Conduct by clicking on the link here, which will take you to a forum post, and it'll run through all of the aspects of the Code of Conduct. But generally speaking, delegates are expected to stay current with network developments, listen and participate in community discussions, and vote in the vast majority of proposals. Community delegates are encouraged to take a clear position on governance proposals, expressing their support or opposition. However, in exceptional cases where there is a conflict of interest or perhaps a lack of information, delegates may choose to abstain from voting. Let's head back to the delegation dashboard. And you'll see here on the right hand side different tracks. And you'll need to select which tracks you'd like to be a delegate for. You can select all of them, uh, or you may select a subset of them. In this case, we'll choose all of them. For more information about each of these tracks, be sure to check out the links in the description. And if you scroll down, you'll see interests here. This is entirely optional, but it may help the community get to know you better. If we head back to the top, we'll see here that you can edit your profile picture and you can also edit your username. So if you have a specific Twitter handle or you have a Discord name that folks know you better by, you may consider replacing out uh, your name here with that exact handle that you're known to the community as. So I'll go ahead and put in my name here. And if you'd like to use a proxy account, you can certainly do that. You'll want to register as a delegate with your proxy account, not the account that's being proxied. So as an example, if you have a wallet with a hot cold setup with a hot wallet proxy controlling the cold storage wallet, you'll register for the delegation dashboard with your hot account. And then here you'll select use as proxy and then you'll paste in the account of your cold storage address. Then you'll press link accounts. It'll do a quick verification and then you'll be all set to go. You'll need to have the proxy set up on the network before attempting to register as a delegate. So let's go ahead and run through the other tabs that are here. We have a voting history and voting history is something that the community will see and use to evaluate you, but it's not something that you can edit. If we head over to the withdraw tab, you can withdraw from your delegate status. Just note that if you have tokens delegated to you, you're expected to give one month notice to the community so that your delegators can reassign their tokens to another delegate. And lastly, you can add your social media handles here. This is entirely optional, but it helps your profile to stand out and it also helps the community get to know you better. You're of course welcome to abstain from providing these handles and you can remain anonymous, but you may find it easier to attract delegators if you provide this info. And we are just about done. Just make sure to press save profile. And once we've done that, then I'm just gonna search for my name here. And that's it, it's that simple. Users can now find you and delegate to you. Be sure to get the word out about your new role as a delegate on Twitter or other social media so that the community knows that they can delegate to you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.